Hi, welcome to the Dr. Skeletal Show. Today our guests are Nurse Allie and Skeletal Josh. Today we're going to talk about how your bone structure is and how they function with major organs. Okay, let's get started. First question, what does the skeletal system do? Your skeleton has five major functions. It provides shape and support, enables you to move, protects your internal organs, produces blood cells, and stores certain materials until your body needs them. Wow, that's a lot of information. Let's break it down into steps. Okay, first let's talk about how it gives you shape and structure. I've always wondered how my arm bends. Well, there are two separate bones in your arm. At the top is the humerus. At the bottom is one bone that is split. The top, wait, this is the humerus. This is the radius. Well, there are two separate bones in your arm. At the top is the humerus, and then there's the bottom one. This part is the radius. This part is the ulna. Don't forget Sparta. Uh, so you don't have one long bone in your arm? Duh, Abby. Okay, that's enough of that. Next question. What is the difference between a cartilage and a bone? Cartilage is a connective tissue that is more flexible than bone. How does your cartilage change from baby to adulthood? As a baby, most of your skeleton was cartilage. Every time, most of the cartilage has been replaced with bone. Do adults have cartilage in them? Even as an adult, cartilage covers the ends of many bones. For example, in your knee, cartilage acts like a cushion that keeps your femur from rolling against the bones of your lower leg. That's enough, that's enough time we have today. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, <laughs> I have to do that. And then we have a random run.